my sister actually getting stuck on here and um, so since I was wrapped on my last project and I'm not doing that anymore, um, we're going to move on to the next thing which is Stanley's Los Angeles Comic Con which is um, next weekend and I'm really excited for it. So we went to Michael's to grab some stuff for the cosplay I'm going to be doing and they didn't have something they needed. So we are at Home Depot and we're going to grab a few more things, um, which I'm really excited for. I'm already doing research for some of the interviews I might get to do there. And yeah, I'm definitely really, uh, really looking forward to it. As well as I'm wearing this shirt right now. Ooh, wait, where is it? Right there it is. It's really big. But it's an Imagine Dragons shirt. And my friend sent it to me. She got it at the concert she went to. And I love her a lot. I would absolutely die for her if she's watching this. Thank you so much. This is my new favorite article of clothing. I'm not taking it off ever. Paint gun right there, the Ferno 750. It's really big. Is it? Does it need to be that large? Oh, is that the real one? Inferno 300. That's the. Is it sold out? No, there's one way back there. Oh, okay. So there's the tiny baby one. That one's me. Look at this guy. And there's the large friend. Very large. Very good for a whoa. Very you large. Could very cosplay good. with that. <laughs> I could. It's like digital. Oh my god. What the hell? I thought you were gonna say yeah, you could cosplay that, and I was like, yeah, I, I want to cosplay that. Well, that looks like a cosplay weapon. It does, doesn't it? You did it. Oh my god, it's a baby. It's a baby for nothing. A baby. <laughs> Compared to my hand, my hand's really small, put yours on it. Beauty pie. I think it's this guy. Is that one different? Yeah, this is it. Oh, so okay. I guess the name just pops off. Yeah. It's, it's a TARDIS. TARDIS. Box. TARDIS box. I can go in the box. Right, I want to go in the TARDIS box. Cool beans. A and a spray paint also, which we're going to vlog about. Let me see what else I need. Cool. They're recording us. So the Home Depot. not only do they show you that you're on video, they show you that people are watching you <laughs> in real time back in the back room. Are somewhere. those the people watching us like in live? I think so. Live stream. I think those are people that are actively keeping an eye on us. Also, you get to see the fourth wall being broken right there with me, with the camera up. Well, yeah, of course. But they got a whole, I don't know if those people are even here or if they're somewhere else. <laughs> or if they're like stock footage. No, no, that's a new Maybe thing Maybe it's stock footage. Hi, bye. Hi, all right, so uh, we got all our supplies, mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna. So we got, this is black warbler that we're gonna use, and we're gonna use the sandwich method, so we need foam. Okay. Okay. Um, and you're gonna help me with some of this, but I wanna show you kind of uh, following a few tutorials that I found online. I'm trying to put a couple of links in the videos. Uh, but the first thing we're gonna do is measure your arm, because the bracer, you know, kind of sits right here, right? Um. La, 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 la. This is the six inches, so your, your arm sitting like this. Mm -hmm. So there's a center line, this is six inches long, mm -hmm. and then six inches at your wrist, and this just happens to be nine inches wide. Oh, cool. So nine inches. So now I'm just gonna cut the shape out. Cool. Do you want to do that? Uh, I can yeah, try. I'm really bad at cutting. <laughs> I don't Best have. Best place in kindergarten. <laughs> I don't have very good fine motor skills of any sort. So now this should wrap around. And make kind of a bracer for you, right? Yeah. So one thing I learned from one of the guys though is that here, I'll just make it into a shape. Mm -hmm. If you do those flat lines like we just did, yeah. you end up with kind of the little pointy part here. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah, you see it better like this. I kind of like that though. So it kind of points up like that. Yeah. And so it does it down here. This line dips a little bit, but it's not as kind of pronounced. Yeah. But I, like I don't really love that point. And so what he ended up doing was just going in like a quarter inch on both sides. Here. And then going from my quarter inch point to the center point. It's a little lower on the outside and higher in the middle, which is the opposite of the problem you have. Try and correct for it. Is that why a lot of bracers and movies and stuff have that? Uh, yeah, I think some people would like it. Like that's the first design you would make, and that some people end up liking it, kind of like you did. Okay. And I think some of them look like that because maybe when people were making them, that's how they did it. That's how they did it. Okay, now let's look. 
Oh, okay. See, it still comes up a little bit. Yeah, but not nearly as good. But it's flatter, right? Yeah. Cool. So that's step one. That's the basic shape of the bracer. If you just want to make a basic bracer, that's what you would do. Yep. And then, especially if you're going to do warbla, you would do the whole sandwich thing that we're going to do in a minute. And uh, and then you could take extra warbla into the patterns and stuff on top of it. Mm -hmm. But we're doing the little double bow tie, is what I'm calling it. Yes. From uh, Adventure Time. <laughs> Not Adventure, Adventure Time. Uh, and so I'll use some of the extra craft paper that I have, our craft foam. And uh, I'm going to draw just a little pattern on here that yep. we're going to make out. And then what I'm going to do is once I draw this, and like I said, it's just kind of a. Okay, so I'm not bringing them to a point here and here and here and here just because so that when I cut them out they stay kind of thick together right because I don't want four little triangles that I have to line up I want one piece that kind of cuts out as one block and so I'm going to take a piece about like that and I'm gonna cut that out and then use a little, uh, there we go, E6000, which is the ultimate cosplay adhesive, um, and glue it into the center mark of this, and that will be the, the form for the bracelet. Yep, and then we'll Cool, all right, here we go. So now we've got the nice little double bow tie that's measured out and centered and, and put right on the center line. Yep. And then this, I don't wanna bend it because it's not glued. Since it's gonna be sandwiched in Warbla, I didn't worry about making sure it was glued all the way around. But if I bend it, it might peel up a little bit. So this is what our template is for the Warbla. Yep. And so the way we're going to do that Scary. is um, we're gonna use this as a pattern. All right. And we're gonna draw two, we're gonna make two copies of it on the Warbla. And we want it to be a little bit bigger than this piece. You're gonna see why in a second. Now you can see that this shape is bigger than this. It's the same shape roughly, but bigger than that. So I need two of these because I'm gonna make a little warble, or I'm not gonna make a warble sandwich because the warble's the bread. I'm gonna make a craft home sandwich yeah. with a warble of bread. Yeah. So I'm gonna cut out two of the exact same size. And now it's time for me to This is smooth enough when you leave it like this, uh, when she wears it. And uh, you could still put, there's a whole process you can go through to put you know, different kinds of things on it and sand it and get it perfectly smooth so it looks more like metal. You don't have time. Um, and there's actually a smooth side and a rough side, but you always do like rough side out. Like I don't know if the smooth side sticks to each other, but I don't know. I'm gonna look real quick and see if you can use smooth side out. I don't think you can. But I don't know that for a fact. I took the this that I made uh -huh. and I drew a rack uh -huh. side of it to leave room. But I had made Wait, this, this one bigger. This yeah. is twice as big as that. So it needs to be exactly the same size as the first one you cut out. Luckily, Warbla is really easy to uh, take your scraps and make new stuff out of it. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, never throw away your cuttings. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, what's going on here? Alright, so we're making our craft foam sandwich. Yeah. Right? So this overhangs a little bit. This will overhang about the same. We're gonna use our new Furno. Yeah, Furno. Oh, I think I'm not gonna seal this. I think mm -hmm. I thought about sealing it, mm -hmm. but yeah, for getting her hand in and out, it's probably better if I can kind of pry it open a little bit. All right. While she puts her hand in and out, and then we'll uh, patch. 
So that one kind of came back together. And there's a little tear right there. So I'll uh, I'll patch some of these holes, but for right now I just need to let it harden again. Right. What do you think? It's so cool. I'm really excited to wear it. Okay, so uh, we have let it harden, and now I'm wearing it. This is super duper cool. I almost got pinched putting it on, but it's still super cool, and I really like it. Uh, we're gonna patch it up and probably paint it, but I think that's all the work we're doing on it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to press the subscribe button to see more videos like this, and comment down below um, for some feedback on this, as well as if you just want to talk about the Avengers, you can know, like that button for hours, but no spoilers, because Dad's not done with it yet. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!